Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about DC to DC converter, which is nothing but a class A chopper. So this class A chopper, which is also called DC to DC converter. So DC to DC converter is also called step down chopper, and this chopper operates in first quadrant. It's nothing but V not I not quadrant here class A chopper will be operated. So this is the quadrant operation of an electric vehicle drive track. So already you know clearly chopper means which converts a fixed DC value into an variable DC value. So then when you convert this fixed DC into an variable DC, we are going to call it as like an chopper and this is called as class A chopper and this is also called as a step down chopper later the derivation you can understand so coming to the configuration how it assembles is so you are going to have an a fixed dc of v volts and here we are going to have an, an transistor so the connections for the transistor i am going to show here so this is we are going to call it as a, a cell commutated switch okay so this is called as a, a switch a transistor you are going to call it as a, a switch this switch you are going to call it as s where this is called a self commutated semiconductor switch generally is a stone like an only an a small switch okay so the purpose of this switch is like whenever the voltage becomes negative it becomes turn off it's called self commutation so from here we are going to connect it to one diode okay this is generally called as fibbling there just for time being i'm calling it as a df and here I am going to have an, an inductive load. So this is I am going to call it as armature current is called armature winding of our DC motor. It's nothing but armature current. So the current in this circuit is high. And this current I am going to call it as source current. Here the gate pulses generated from the self commutator switch. I am going to call this as a control signal this is called the control signal we are going to generate uh, with the help of the signal and we are going to see here how we are going to get the characteristics so here i am going to draw the waveforms uh, of each individual so here i am going to draw the control signal i am going to apply like this so i am having an magnitude of positive and suddenly it becomes zero I'm drawing only one positive cycle where this is you know so this here the switch is on here and the switch is off in this cycle and similarly this is called control signal that we are applying through the self commutated switch and we are going to have whenever the supply is given the source current is flowing like this and it doesn't flow to the diode why because uh, this is positive and negative it doesn't force this automatically the source current and load current are there now the inductor is charged now the inductor is getting charged with a voltage of va the current of ia it maintains a voltage of ia now the inductor is charged so now we are going to draw the ia which is nothing but the load current so now when you see here uh, from this cycle first cycle half cycle so the inductor gets charged okay it is charging from a magnitude of ia1 to ia2 so now the inductor is charged with the polarities of positive one negative now the inductor is charged now what happens here is so now whenever the inductor is on so the inductor is charging with the polarities of like this from ia1 to ia2 and again by using this control signal ic i am going to turn off this switch the switch is turn off so now already our inductor has been charged okay so now this is the position of our circuit 
Now inductor has been charged with the qualities of positive and negative. So already we told you know that inductor doesn't allow sudden change in current. So it is trying to discharge and it is changing its qualities as positive and negative and make the current IA to flow in the same direction. Okay. So this is what the behavior of the inductor. I guess that's why we say that inductor does not allow sudden change in currents. It doesn't allow sudden change in current. So actually current when you make the switch as off, automatically this is off. Okay. So automatically what will happen? So actually the switch will be in this position. Okay. It is like a switch like this. Automatically we are not giving the bias. Automatically this will become off. Complete this will be in off. The voltage will not be available to the load. So now the inductor will try to discharge. So it will change its polarities as positive and negative and it will make the current to flow in the same path. That's why we are saying that inductor does not allow sudden changes of current IA maintains the same path. So already it has been charged. Now what will happen in this duration? It will try to discharge. Why? Because inductor is already charged, it has reverse switch polarities and is able to discharge and it discharges from magnitude of IA2 to IA1. This is what actually happening in this so this here you can take like a switch here on the exam general it will be shown like a switch here or it may be directly if you use a bjt it will be shown like this and you remove this automatically should act like an open so such way that the supply will not uh, flow into the voltage source okay this is what's happening and when you draw the next graph where this is called as the source current so initially now we'll, the dots will be clarified so source current we are whenever the switch is on we are applying the source current and slowly it is maintained the source current is also same whenever the switch is off i told that this switch is connected in series to the voltage source automatic what will happen so whenever the switch is the s switch i mean the control signal is off automatically the switch is in off position and automatically whenever this switch is in off condition automatically there is no current available automatically it has a the magnitude of zero. So this is what is happening to the waveform of source current, waveform of load current. Okay. So in this process whenever it is uh, charging here, so that is all about the armature current, load current as well as the source current. Now let us try to understand uh, how this is going to happen. Here it is varying from 0 to delta t and this is nothing but the one complete cycle. So delta t to 0 it is not at all conducting and when you find out the armature voltage or output voltage Va is equal to 1 by t integral of 0 to t of the output voltage Va into dt. In which cycle we are getting having the output only from 0 to delta t and delta t to 0 it is 0 so that is why I am taking it is nothing but 1 by t and we are having the output current or output voltage only in this duration. So it is 0 to delta T and VA is nothing but how much voltage is available here? How much voltage is available? It's nothing but is equal to the source voltage. So whatever the voltage we are have here, whatever the voltage we have been applied here, the same voltage is there. So here is nothing but V into dt. So when you perform integration, it's 1 by T into V into t this t can be expanded as a delta t minus 0 so now t t will get cancelled the armature voltage is equal to v into delta and this delta value we are varying from 0 to 1 the output voltage is also variable so we can say that we are able to convert a fixed dc voltage into an variable dc voltage so this is all about that's why this class A chopper is also called step down chopper. You can see here the current output current is nothing but IA. So IA we are going to draw the graph. This is nothing but IA and when you draw the graph of output current, output voltage, you can see here current is positive. Okay. So V0 is equal to I0 into IA into RA. It's nothing but output current or armature current. You can see here this is also the same. So whenever IA magnitude is there, automatically VA magnitude is there. So therefore, I naught is there. 
I naught into R A. We are going to get V A, which is nothing but output voltage. So this also will maintain the same magnitude. So therefore, we are having this in which quadrant? First quadrant. Okay. So this is how to understand which chopper comes in which quadrant. So current is positive. So I naught into R A, which will give the output voltage V naught, which is also positive. And in this magnitude only. So whenever it is conducting, when you draw the V A waveform also, in this duration only we are going to have the positive voltage and whenever in the reverse what happens is this goes and this is already short circuit why because it offers less resistance and then and the maximum current is flowing whenever the current is maximum i can say that voltage becomes zero therefore va becomes zero so in the which period in the discharging period only it is available from the duration of uh, zero to delta t that's why we can say that our we have in first quadrant of operation so there is nothing but i naught and v naught so therefore i am saying that class a chopper as per the definition what it is claimed is you can vary the output voltage from a fixed i mean from a fixed variable to an variable value so output voltage is variable therefore that's what is called chopper or dc to dc converter and since output voltage is of lesser magnitude, we are calling it as step down chopper. And V naught I naught is in which quadrant? First quadrant. Why? Because uh, output current is positive, output current to rest is voltage also positive. So, therefore, we exhibit in which quadrant is first quadrant. This is all about uh, the class A chopper. So, if you feel the content is useful, please like the channel and share with your friends and give your valuable comments wherever have the doubt and please subscribe the channel and thank you for watching so this is a free channel for the benefit of students please share with your friends and try to promote the channel thank you for your listening patiently you are so brilliantly from meet in the next video of class b chopper which is also called as a step up chopper